Welcome back, everybody. It's Sport Federation TV. Nice to have you along. We keep talking sport. Well, you'll, of course, remember it was about three weeks ago or so that we spoke to Dale Feltman, catcher for uh, Western, uh, Western Cape Baseball, uh, or at least for the national team, for the South African national team, um, and speaking a lot about the excitement of baseball in South Africa. And, of course, baseball there also doing really well um, in the Western Cape. To tell me a little bit more about baseball in the Western Cape and also to talk about the national championships coming up shortly, Chantal Wilson, Secretary for Baseball in the province. Chantal, welcome to Sport Federation TV. Nice to have you along. Hi, good afternoon, JP. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, I think, Chantal, it's the first time that we're speaking to you to find out how baseball is going. So just tell us a little bit about that. How is baseball? I see you proudly wearing your baseball Western Cape outfit. How is baseball yes. doing in the province? Um, yes, JP, you know, we, we were thrown with the COVID. So for 18 months, there was not much happening. So everybody's excited to be back at baseball, to be playing, and also for us in, in Cape Town to be hosting the National Baseball Championships. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah, so you've got baseball, obviously, in a, in a lot of the districts in the Western Cape. Um, club perspective, um, are we seeing, now that you know that we, we know how difficult things have been in the last two years, has baseball managed to get their momentum back? Um, yes, they have, um, but not as what we were hoping for. So the numbers have dwindled quite a bit, but um, everybody's working hard on that transformation and development to, to, you know, to get the code back up and running at full steam. Obviously, the, ex the athletes must be very excited about being able to participate again. Um, very exciting for the athletes themselves just to, to see each other again and play sport. Yes, yes, correct, correct, yeah. So they've, they've got some growing and some learning to do because some are making new friends. Um, but yes, a lot of them are seeing the, the old friends and especially at the national championships. So it would be good to get together again um, after almost uh, two and a half years of being um, apart, of not playing. And Chantal, tell me, um, the, the, the athletes at a club level, like how often do they, do they practice? How, how often do they go down to training sessions in a week? Um, at club level, they train in the week, so it's two two weeknights, and then the the games, league games, are on a Saturday. And how, how, how often is that? Those Saturday games, do they play every weekend, or how often is it? They play every weekend. Um, well, depending on the the league structure, one or two clubs might be on a bye, but generally they play every Saturday. And um, if it's double headers, they play Saturday and Sunday. And how does that work from a season point of view? When does the baseball season sort of normally start and finish? Uh, normally they finished around the 20th, the weekend, the long weekend of the 20th. Um, but because of the COVID and starting late and, you know, regulations and things, so they're only finishing um, the week before the tournament. So basically Are just, you, you know, days March? before. I, but I mean, on a... On an in annual March, basis, during March. any normal year, when do, I mean, we know... No, normal year, is normal year is October to December. Yeah, normal, it's summer. Normally, um, October to uh, December, and then from January to March. Okay, so it's a pretty full year. What do they do during the time that they're not playing? I mean, we know, many people seem to think that sport goes quiet when, when, um, when, when athletes are not playing. But we know behind the scenes, the administrators are busy right through the year. Um, do, they, do those athletes do another sport? Do they keep practicing? Do they keep staying fit in the gym? Um, I think most of them do a um, alternate code, the winter code. Um, and But we do have HPCs running, the elite training, um, during the off-season. So, and yeah, and like you say, the administrators, we, we never rest. It's, it's 12 months of the year that we are, we are active, we're busy. So when you say HPC, you're, you're obviously meaning a high performance centers. Um, is, that, is that then something that uh, prepares the athletes for competitions? Tell us a little bit about a high performance center. How does that work? Uh, each, each district um, have their own or should have their own HPC running. Yeah. Um, and that filters through to um, the um, district federation, uh, sorry, the provincial federation. Okay. And um, to and as uh, likewise to the national um, uh, HPC, okay. so those guys are preparing for uh, the World Cups that will be coming up 
um, later this year. Right. So is it a World Cup year this year? Yes, uh, because they've missed out on on because of the COVID, we've right. we've we're having from under twelve up to under twenty three. All the um, age groups will be participating this year. So baseball, obviously, then it's a big event. I mean, the World Cup, of, and you say that I mean we're we're going to see some South African teams participating in that World Cup. Yes, correct. Where 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 is the World Cup uh, this year, Chantal? Um, under 12 is Taipei, um, under 15 they still need to confirm, under 18 is in USA, and um, if I'm not mistaken, under 23 in um, Taipei City as well. Chantal, let's talk a little bit about the South African Baseball Championships, or the Interprovincial Championships, that's starting down here in the Western Cape on the 26th of March. Um, this is a big event for you guys. It's my understanding that you've got teams coming from all over South Africa to participate. That's correct. That's correct. Uh, from Limpopo, Eastern Cape, um, Gauteng. Um, unfortunately, we're not seeing KZN. Um, yeah, and then Western Cape teams. And when you talk about the Western Cape or, or participation year, is it boys and girls? Are there different age divisions? Uh, yes, uh, the juniors will be running from the 26th to the 30th of March uh, for five days. And then we have the uh, women and girls, uh, junior and senior women as well. Um, they'll be running from the 28th to the 31st of March. And the seniors will also go for five days from the 30th to the 3rd of April. Is this a, is this a big event for baseball in South Africa? Do the athletes... Um, think about this during the year if in terms of their planning and their preparation and getting I'm, I'm assuming this is the the opportunity where the teams will go head to head to see who gets the bragging rights yes yes I, th I think um, you know before getting to the national side I think this is the highlight of, of every athletes um, baseball career is is to make the you know the provincial side or district side so um, yes uh, the kids are extremely excited about so this we, event. So how are we going to do as Western Cape? Are we in with a shot? Who's our biggest competitor? Um, Gauteng is our biggest competitor at the moment. But yes, we, we're always up for a the, for the good competition. Um, we play hard on the field. So uh, yeah, but we're looking forward to the challenge as always. It's obviously and we're hoping exciting. to walk away with the goal. <laughs> yes, we want to take the... And just to confirm, um, uh, Chantal, uh, the, so the South African Baseball Cha or Interprovincial Championships, it's then, of course, happening here in Cape Town at the Boetersig, um, uh Sport Fields uh, Baseball, Baseball Club. Kidding. Um, yeah. you've, you've got teams from all over the country coming. Um, are, are spectators able to come and watch? Yes, we we, we we open to six spectators. And um, within a couple of days, in early next week, we'll be putting our our tickets online um, so we're going that route um, yeah. for the poppy act and also just to control the numbers yeah. um, as we still need to follow uh, the COVID regulations but spectators will definitely be allowed well that's fantastic I mean that's uh, very exciting for them to see baseball firsthand uh, we yes. we're looking forward to seeing seeing some real baseball action um, I think yeah. when we talk baseball we all imagine the ball hitting or the bat hitting the ball. There's that specific baseball sound, that noise, and and uh, that's an exciting yeah. sound. And of course, people can then see that firsthand um, at the Bundesliga Baseball Club for the interprovincials. Chantal, um, we'll leave it at that. We look forward to catching up with you and more of the the uh, administrators that are preparing for the event as we head closer to that event. And it's very exciting, and we say. So to you guys, uh, yeah, good luck with the preparation and uh, well done for bringing the championships down to Cape Town. Thank you. Thank you very much, JP. There we go, folks. Uh, Chantal Wilson is the Secretary of Western Cape uh, Baseball. She's, of course, also the uh, chairperson of the local organizing committee for the Interprovincials or the South African, what you might think of as a South African championships, happening here in um, Cape Town, in the Western Cape, at the Bordesig Baseball Fields. Look out for more information about the event on the show. We'll keep telling you um, about how you can um, enjoy the baseball entertainment. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll carry on talking sports in the province. Back in a sec.